U.S. Navy Corpsman George Wallen was wounded in combat on Iwo Jima. Despite his injuries, he refused evacuation and continued to treat 5th Marine Division casualties. During a battle on March 3, 1945, he displayed exceptional heroism and acted without regard for his own well-being. When the Marines came back and hollered that they'd been hit pretty bad up ahead of us, and so I was the only corpsman there, so I went up and took care of them. I started up to take care of them. A mortar shell had hit right by me. I uh, tried to get up and fell down. I couldn't figure out what had happened, but the mortar shell had actually hit me and broke my leg and tore off my one boot somewhat. I always remember I got a battle dressing and wrapped my foot up around my ankle and, and give myself a shot of morphine and then crawled up and took care of it. As I remember, there was four or five theirs and one of them had lost two legs. And the, the, the other casualties, as I remember, there were five and they were all wounded. I remember uh, staying there until they get them evacuated. And, uh, stretchy bears coming up and stuff, and yeah, that was all over. And I thought I, I knew I was going to have to go back because I couldn't walk. But I remember hollering uh, another marine holler for a corpsman out about 50 yards, and I did crawl up, take care of him, and, and then uh, the stretchy bears finally took care of me, and just taking me back, and I ended up uh, getting up in the field hospital. For his exceptional heroism on Iwo Jima, George Wallen was awarded the Medal of Honor. President Harry S. Truman presented the medal on October 4, 1945.